Okie dokie, let's get going. We're going to warm up. I've got a nice pure Pilates class planned for today. Warming up. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Kelly, that's enough, big girl. And let's roll the shoulders back. Nice big circles, really getting that thoracic spine loosened up. Kayla, it's all right, my love. Nice, arms out to the side, and let's rotate those rotator cuff muscles. Get those shoulders moving, loosened off. Very nice. And let's roll the shoulders forward, loosen them off. When you do this, be careful not to pinch anything. If you need to do wider circles, you can. Um, sometimes people with shoulder issues it can pinch their shoulders. Good, let's go for two more. Very nice. Right, let's go into our roll downs. Taking a nice breath in, standing up nice and tall. And as you breathe out, chin down onto your chest, soften your knees, pull your belly button in. Let your arms and head hang down and curl all the way down to the floor. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can just do some hip circles or some standing stretches, curling up. You can always do some side bends if you want to from here. And breathing in, and out, chin down to your chest, curling down, relax the arms, relax the head, all the way down, very nice. Barbara, if you want to just do some side bending, reaching over, get a nice stretch, that's it, curling up, right, let's do the cactus, breathing in, arms up, and breathing out, squeeze those shoulders, elbows into your waist, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up that chest. Good, breathing in, arms up, and breathing out if you're able to, reaching forward, stretching. Barbara, don't worry about this part. Reach forward and folding down to the ground. Curling up, vertebra by vertebra, one at a time, tucking that tummy in. Very nice, we've just got one more. Breathing in, arms up, and breathing out. Elbows at your side, squeezing those shoulder blades together, lifting up the chest. Breathing in, and breathe out as you're stretching forward. Reach for the wall ahead of you, and folding down all the way to the floor. Good. From here, coming onto your knees, you're going to put your right knee in front. Left knee behind. Make sure your knee is over your ankle, hands on the floor. Slide that back leg back, and we're going to roll the hips side to side. Loosening up the hip capsule. That's it, lovely. Stretching right and left. Let's go for one more. Now stretching that front leg, reaching back. Try and stick your bottom out behind you. Get your bum bone reaching back. And coming forward, lift your chest. Let's go for five. Stretching that front knee and forward. As you go back, if you need to move your hands back because your hamstrings are quite tight, that's absolutely fine. And reaching forward. Two more. Stick your bum out behind you. And back. What's most important is that you do straighten this knee at the end here. Stretch it straight. Very nice. And let's change sides. So put your left leg in front. Knee over your ankle, make sure your knees are ahead of your ankle, hands on the floor, and slide that back leg back. Let's rotate those hips. Side to side, rolling side to side. Very nice. Two more. Last one. And reaching back, stretch that front knee back and forward. Good, and reaching back. Stretching that front knee. And forward, lift your chest. We've got three more. Stretch. Make sure that front knee goes straight and forward. Two more. Tummy pulled in. And last one, reaching back and forward. Great. Coming into your side, stay on the right knee with your left leg out to the side. And we're going to go into our weeping willow position or mermaid and we're going to rotate your shoulders so from here rotate the shoulders down towards the floor and back when you stretch and rotate think of reaching that top arm away try and touch the wall 
So you get a beautiful stretch in your side. Go for two more. Rotate the shoulders towards the floor. And back. And last one, stretch. And back. Great. Knees together. And let's change sides. Put your left, right leg out to the side. You're on your left knee. Stretching up and over. Rotate those shoulders down towards the floor. Reach that arm away. And back to the middle. Good. Three more. Stretch. And back. Two, reach that arm away. Last one. And back. Very nice. We're going to start here. We're going to stay here to start for our first exercise. We're going to lift this right leg up into the air. You can have your arm up if you want. We're going for 10. Let's go. One, tummy pulled in. Two, three, four, five. Six, try and have your top arm up if you can. Seven, eight, that's it. Or on your waist, nine, ten. Very nice. Now from here, you can either keep going up and down or we're going to lift our underneath leg up to touch. <sighs> knee to knee. So if you struggle with your hips, stay there lifting up and down. Otherwise, let's go. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Knee to knee. And down. So you're lifting that up. Very nice. Tummy pulled in. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Use your inner thigh and your abs together. Last one. Very nice. Let's change sides. So now I'm on my right knee. Left leg out to the side. Hand can be up or on your waist. And let's go. One. Tummy in. Two. Three, make sure this top leg is nice and long. Pull that quads tight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very nice. Either keep doing that or we're going to lift this underneath leg up. One. Two. Tummy pulled in. Three. Very good. Four. Five. Tummy pulled in. Don't... Six. If you can, keep your top arm off the floor. Nine. And ten. Very nice. Come onto your hands and knees. Make sure your knees are directly under your hips. Sometimes people have their knees too far out. And I want your knees right under your hips. Hands directly under your shoulders. Make sure your back's not arched. Tucking under. Pull that tummy in. Tuck your toes under. We're going to lift the knees and hover. Breathing out to lift. Let's go. Breathing out. Lift the knees off the floor for five, four, three. And relax it down. Good. Breathing out. Tummy in. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. We've got three more. Breathing out. Lifting up. Five, four, three. Two, one, and down. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Lifting up. Three, two, one. Last one. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Very nice. Come and sit on your right side. We're going to do our mermaid plank. So you're going to sit on your right side. My right leg is bent on the floor. My left leg is bent with the ankle hooked in front of my right ankle. Okay. Have your arm quite far away and your other arm resting on that knee. So from here, make sure your hands and feet are far enough away that when we come up into a plank, like into our mermaid side plank, we don't need to move anything. So when we come up, I'm literally... Straightening up. I straighten my knees, rotate those hips down, and going down. Okay, let's go for five. Breathing out to lift. Let's go. Squeeze your inner thighs. Rotate that top hip towards the floor. Make a weeping willow. And down. Very nice. Let's go. Four more. Breathing out. Lift those hips. Rotate the hips towards the floor. And down. Beautiful. Three more. Lifting up. Squeeze and lift. Tummy in. And down. 
Two more. Squeeze those inner thighs. Use your abs and your inner thighs together. And down. And rotate that top hip forward as we go over. Last one. Squeeze. Now turn your hip towards the floor. So you lift a little higher. And down. Very nice. Let's change sides. So I'm on my left bum cheek. Left leg bent on the floor, right leg bent up, hooked in front of the left foot. Hands and feet far enough away that I don't need to shuffle and move them when I lift. And let's go, breathing out to lift. Squeeze your inner thighs. Turn your hips towards the floor. And down, nice. We've got four more, breathing out. Squeeze and lift, tummy in. And down. Three, pull in those abs, rotate the hips, squeeze your inner thighs. Beautiful. Two more. Breathe out as you lift. And down. Nice, control it down. Last one. Squeeze and lift. And down, very nice. We're going to come into a plank position. Barbara, I want you to hold a half plank. So if you've got any issues, you can stay in a half plank, shoulders down, tummy away from the floor. Otherwise, we're going into a full plank and we're going to do the tango. So make sure shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Let's go. Twist, tango the feet. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. And we're going to twist. Drop your hips. Make sure your head is in line with your spine. So you've got a nice flat back. I don't want to see that. For five. Four, tummy pull in. Three. Good. Two. One. Come into a downward dog. Have a little stretch there. Stick your chest between your shoulders and lift those heels up and down for 10. When you lift the heels up and down, your whole body doesn't move forward. I'm just lifting from the bum to the ceiling. Let's go for five, four, three more, two, one. Beautiful. Walk your hands towards your feet. And curling up. Very nice. We're going to go into a little leg squat lunge series from here. So to start with, we're just going to go into a squat. Knees facing forward, bum going back, hands going above the head. And down. Make sure your back stays nice and flat. I don't want to see any rounding. Let's go for 10, dropping down. Nine, pull your abs in. Lift your chest, so don't go that low down that you're parallel with the floor. You want to lift that chest. Better, squeeze. Five more. Four. Three, make sure your knees stay facing forward. Two, lift that chest. And one, let's hold it here. Lift one heel up and down. If you need to drop your arms, you can. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. It's more important that your back is straight. Five. <sighs> Six. Shoulders away from your ears. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it here. We're going to pulse down for ten. <sighs> Nine. Weight through your heels. Eight. Take your arms down if your neck's getting sore. Seven. <sighs> Six. Five, dropping down, weight through your heels. Make sure you don't put your weight on your knees. Three, two, one, and standing up. Very nice, shake out those legs. Right, we're gonna stand in a nice long lunge. We're gonna stand in a static lunge to start. Make sure your legs are really quite far apart. So we're gonna drop down and up to start. And make sure when you're dropping down in the middle, my knee is over my ankle. So be careful that you don't go forward and back. 
Okay, you're literally dropping down to the middle. Let's go for 10. Dropping down and up. Nine, in the middle, that's perfect everyone, very nice. Eight, tummy in, lift your chest. Seven, then down to the floor, six. I'm going to turn around for the next thing. You keep going. Three, two, one. Now you're going to hold it here. Hands behind your head. We're going to twist elbow to knee. So from the front, we're going to twist. Now watch what your knee does. Make sure your knee doesn't move. You twist from the abs for 10. You can straighten your back knee if you want to. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. Eight, beautiful. Seven, so you're really thinking of it as a crunch. Six, shoulder to knee. Five, make sure you twist. Four, so you're not just twisting your arm. Three, two, your knee stays facing forward. Don't let it move. One, and come and stand up, well done. Okay, we're going to change sides. So now you put your other leg in front. Nice wide static lunge. And we're just going down and up first. Remember to go down in the middle. We're not going forward and back. Let's go. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Two. Three. Lift up your chest, shoulders sliding down your back. Think of going down in the middle, don't go forward. Three more, two, one, now very nice, hold it there, you can straighten your back knee if you want, hands behind your head, we're going to touch, when you do this, make sure that this front knee doesn't move, so you're not bringing your knee to your elbow, your knee stays solid, we've got six, five, tummy pulled in, Four, squeeze those obliques. Breathe out as you twist. Two more. One more. And standing up, very nice. We're going to start standing on our left leg. So we're going to do a standing series on the left leg. We're going to reach our right leg out behind us and the right arm forward. Capital T. And then we're going to twist. When I twist from the front, my leg stays here, and I'm twisting from the abs. I'm not doing that. So you literally think of wringing out a cloth. You want to twist at your abs. So you go opposite arm and twist. Okay, let's go. Once you're in it, the arms make sense. So reaching, right arm forward, right leg back. One. Really twist from the abs. Reach and stretch. Two. When you twist, bring that shoulder down and back. Beautiful. Three. Very nice. Four. Reach and twist. Pause for a second. We've got five more. Very nice. I'm losing my balance. Four. Remember to twist, keep the knee there. Three more. Sorry, this is my dodgy heel. You can tell I'm losing my balance completely. Two. Beautiful, really get that twist. Pull that hand into your chest. Nice, last one. If you're done, you know I'm bad at counting. Very nice, very good everyone. Good, let's change legs. So standing on, when you do the twist at the end, shoulder down and back, make sure you don't hunch it up and really draw it in. So you're twisting right round. So from the front, I'm literally looking and you're twisting your obliques, okay? Practice the movement even in standing. It's almost like you're doing a little row. That's it. So that's the action we want, okay? So standing on your right leg. We're going to reach left leg back, left arm forward, and twist. 
Beautiful. Get that knee in. One. Knee up. Nice. Three. Stretch. Tummy in and twist. Two. Good. Get a little pause there. Very nice. I think we, I lost count because I went backwards and then forwards. We've got three more. <laughs> That's how I mix up my counting. I start counting up and then I start counting down. I figured it out after a year. One more. Reach. And twist and pause. Make a pretty picture. And relax. Well done. Coming down into your knees. We're going to go into a plank or a half plank on your knees. And we're going to go into shoulder taps. So from that plank, you're going to be tapping. Make sure when you tap, your hips and your shoulders stay facing the floor. I want you to try and avoid rotating your body as much as you can, okay? So either in a half plank or a full plank, but your hips and shoulders connected, stay facing the floor. Let's go in three, two, one. Tummy in. And we tap. Try and control the tap. Take your time with it. Squeeze your bum. Pulling in the abs. Keep your hips level with your back. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax the knees down. Go back into child's pose. Push the floor away. Very nice. Coming back into a position where we're going to go into push-ups. On your knees, shoulders down and back. Drop the hips down. Squeeze your bum. Pull your tummy in. Your elbows are going to graze your ribs as we go down. Let's go. Shoulders down and back. We're going down. And up. Beautiful. As you come up, pull your belly button in even more. Squeeze your stomach. Tummy pulled in. Five. Six, shoulders away from your ears. Seven. Eight. Keep squeezing your bum. Nine. And ten. Very nice. Come sit on your bottom. Feet out in front of you. Knees bent. We're going to go into our crab toe touch. We haven't done this one for a while. So from here, you're going to lift your hips just off the floor. Not right up, just off the floor. Push the floor away. Don't let your neck sink into your shoulders. Nice, strong neck. And we touch. If you can't lift your foot and your hand at the same time, you can stay with the legs. So you can just lift the legs, alternating. Or we touch it. Let's go. Ten, tummy pulled in. If you're touching your foot, you want your body to move as little as it can. If you're lifting the knees, tummy in. If you stay solid, push the floor away. We've got three more. Two. One. Very nice. Sit down, roll out the wrists. And we're going to go straight into tricep dips in that position. Just a little wrist break. So from here, lifting up the hips, we're going to go down and up. Again with this, weight on your heels, not your toes. Push the floor away. Don't let your neck sink into your shoulders. Let's go. One, two, elbows sticking back. Three, four, very nice. Five, six, tummy pulled in all the time. Seven, eight, finish with a long neck. Nine, ten. Beautiful job. Reach your hands forward, touch your toes, stretch out your legs. And we're going to go back into that position with straight legs this time. Hands behind you. Heels digging into the floor. Knees are straight. We're going to lift up the hips. A straight reverse plank. Again, don't sink your neck. And going down. Very nice. We're going for five. Breathing out to lift. Tummy in. Squeeze. Push through those heels. And down. Three. Lift. Hold it. Tuck your tummy in. And down. Very nice. Two more. 
breathing out. Tummy pulled in, push the floor away. You should feel this in the back of your legs, like your hamstrings. Last one. If your knees are straight and you dig your heels in, your hamstrings should work. And down. Very nice. And rolling down into your back. Keep your feet on the floor, knees bent. We're going to go into our pelvic curl. Hands on the floor. Let's go. Breathing out to curl up. Tummy pulled in all the way. Tilting that pelvis and curling down. Breathing out, tummy pulled in, push through your heels. And down, we're going for eight. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. Curling down, try and think of going down vertebra by vertebra, like a string of pearls. Pushing up. And one vertebra at a time, your coccyx is the last thing to touch. Three more. Squeeze that bum. And down. Two. Beautiful. Tummy in all the time. We've got one more. You're going to hold it up there. Holding it there. Reconnect that tilt. Tip that pelvis under. Tummy pulled in. Your thumbs are going to go above your head to the floor. And then palms to the floor at your bum. Let's go for ten. Keep lifting the hips. Nine. Breathing out. Eight. Tilt that pelvis. Squeeze your bum. Seven. Think of spreading those fingers. Six. Five. Lift your hips. Four. Tummy in even deeper. Three. Two. And one, bring the hands back to your side. From here, we're going to march the feet. Lift up one, two, very nice. Now, as you lift the leg, you've got to make sure your hips don't sink and your hips stay level. So really think into that pelvis. Squeeze the heel into the floor, tummy in. We've got five, make sure your hips stay level. Four, three. Two, one. Now cross your right ankle over your left knee. Keep those hips up. And we're going to go down and up. Keep your hips level. Five, four. Push through your heel. Three, two. Squeeze that bum. One. Give me three more. One, two. Squeeze and lift. Three. Very nice. Keep the hips up there. Reconnect. Cross left ankle over right knee. Let's go. Squeeze. Make sure your hips are both facing the ceiling and that they level. Push through the heel on the floor. For four more. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Well done. You're going to stay lying on your back. You're going to have your knee, arms out to the side, and bend your knees. We're going to do our lumbar rotation. So we're going to breathe in, take the knees to the side. Make sure your knees doesn't, your top knee doesn't slide back. Keep it in line with your other knee. And then breathing out back to the middle. Tilt that pelvis. Breathing in to the side. Breathing out. Use your obliques to pull you back. That's it. So we go breathing in to the side. Breathing out back to the middle. Make sure you're tucking under. Don't arch your back. Lift the tailbone. Tummy pulled in. We've got three more to each side. Use your obliques as you breathe out to pull you back to the middle. Breathing in. Nice. Think of lifting that tailbone. Don't arch your back. Knees stay in line. Beautiful. One more each side. Breathing in. Top hip stays in line. And out. Very nice. Now we're going to do the same thing with your legs straight. So you'll see from here, my toes, look at my toes. I've got bright pink nail polish. 
They stay together. I don't let my feet slide back. Okay, let's go. Breathing in. Make sure that top hip stays together. And out. You don't go as far. Because obviously now you've got more leverage. So you breathe in and out. Very nice. Make sure your toes stay together. Squeeze your inner thighs. We've got three more to each side. You're using your obliques for this. So make sure your stomach can feel it. Your hip flexors shouldn't be doing the work. And your back shouldn't be doing the work. This must be abs. If you need to bend your knees, you can. One more. Very nice. Hug those knees into your chest. Well done. Good. Feet on the floor. We're going to go into sit-ups. Hands either by your side or behind your head. You're going to breathe out, curling up all the way. And breathing out as you curl down. Tummy pulled in. Very nice. Let's go for 10. And breathing out. Nice. Very good. Curling down all the way. Very nice sit-ups. I'm impressed. Tucking under. Make sure you pull your belly button in all the way. And curling down. Nice. Now slowly from here, you're going to want you to keep this action. Vanessa, this is for you. Feet together and slowly roll your knees open. So keep going with that sit-up because you've got it. And now you should be able to keep it going. If you'll put your feet together and open your knees. That's it. So we're going into that diamond sit-up. There you go. So opening the knees, she did it. Nailed it. I'm impressed. My day is made. I'm happy. Yes. Okay. We've got five more. Diamond sit-ups. Breathing out. Curling in. Well done. And four more. Breathing out. I could see it was going to work today. I knew it. And curling down. Tummy pulled in all the time. We've got two more. Very good. Breathing in and curling down. One more. Breathing in and out and curling down. Let's hold it there. Lift the legs up into tabletop. Hands by your side. Knees and feet together. Lift your tailbone. We're going to go into leg swaps. Tapping down with your foot. Make sure the movement happens from the hip. That's beautiful. As you breathe out, when you lift the knee in, tilt that tailbone up. Tummy pulled in. For five. Four. Breathing out as you lift. Three. Lift that tailbone. Two. One. Beautiful. Keeping it there. Roll down a little bit. Arms up to the ceiling. We're going to go into our dead bug. Shoulder blades pulled down. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. Opposite arm and leg away. Breathing out to come back. Make sure your low back never leaves the ground. So pull in that tummy as much as you have to when you straighten out that leg. That your low back doesn't arch. Lift that tailbone. We've got six more. Five. Pulling in those abs. Four more. Three. Reaching away and back. Two. Last one. Now from here we're going to go into the banana. If you can. If you don't want to, you can carry on doing sit-ups. But from here, we're going to roll onto your side. Stretch your arms and legs away off the floor. Don't let them touch the floor. We're doing a little side bend. Then breathing out to come back. And change sides. Roll. And back. When you roll to the side, make sure you don't arch your back. So your legs are a little bit in front of you. I'm not in a dead straight line. And stretch. I've still got that tuck in my tailbone. Two more each side. Reach. Use your obliques to bring you back. Tummy pulled in. Don't arch 
your back on the side. One more, each side. Stretch, control it. Last one. And very nice, well done. Stretch out your arms, stretch out your legs, just to have a little stretch of your abs. Very nice. We're going to go into a plank position on your elbows. And then we're going to go into a downward dog from there. So, come into your plank on your elbows, clasp your hands, nose over your hands. By having your nose over your hands, it makes that your shoulders come away from your ears, so you don't get into a hunched position, okay? So, tummy in, half plank if you need, but we're going to go from a plank to a downward dog. I'll show you first. So, from here, we're going to go downward dog. Back into a plank. If you need to drop to your knees in the plank, that's fine. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. Nose over hands. Straight into a downward dog and back. When you come back, make sure your nose is over your hands, your tummy's pulled in, shoulders slide down and back. We're going for ten. Stretch. Tummy in, reach. Nice. You can hold that plank on your knees if you need. But otherwise, knees to a downward dog. Let's go for three more. And back. Two. Tummy pulled in. One. Very nice. Go back into a downward dog. I mean, child pose. Have a little stretch. Right, we're going to finish off the session with plank. We're going to do a front plank, side plank, front plank, side plank for two minutes. 30 seconds front, rotate 30 seconds to the side, 30 seconds front, 30 seconds other side. You're welcome to do this plank on your knees. Please don't feel you have to do a full plank. It's more about keeping it up. So if you're getting tired, go onto your knees. If you've got sore heads or back, do this on your knees, please. Okay. So, we're going to set ourselves up, shoulders down and back on our elbows. Make sure when you know which direction you're going to turn to for the 30 seconds. Let's face the camera, I think. Right, let's go. In five seconds, shoulders down and back, tummy in. Three, two, and one. Setting up. Make sure your nose is over your hands. Back is flat, tummy pulled in. Please go onto your knees if you need. This is not about hurting yourself, but building up some strength to protect the joints. Right, in 10 seconds we're turning. When we turn, your top leg is in front. Three, two, one. Try and stay up, turning. This arm can be wherever you need it to be. Your top leg is in front. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. That's 10 seconds. If you need to go onto your knees, please do. Good. 10 seconds left. Then we're going back to the front. In five, three, two, one. Front plank. Shoulders down and back, tummy squeezed. Back nice and flat, tuck your pelvis under. Very nice, we're nearly there guys. 15 seconds. Tummy in. Back nice and flat. In five, we're turning. Three, two, one, other way. Top leg in front. Squeeze your bottom. Shoulders down and back. We've got 20 seconds. Woo! We got this. Fifteen. Tummy in, squeeze your inner thighs. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. And relax down. Well done. Two minute plank. Ah. We don't 
your chest, rock side to side, stretching it out, well done. Very nice. Keep your right knee in at your chest, straighten out the left leg, and let's pull that right knee across your body to the left side. Try and get the knee down to the floor, and your right hand stays on the floor, reach towards that right hand. Oh, I had such a nice click in my back. Awesome. Beautiful, bring that right knee back into the middle. Get both legs up to join that rock side to side. Straighten out your right leg. And let's pull that left knee over to the right side. Try and get it down to the floor. Stretch that left arm away from you. Look at that left hand. And bring both knees back into the middle. And roll up into sitting. Phew. Well done everyone, that was amazing. Great class, and now in South Africa we've got a public holiday tomorrow. So we will see you all on Wednesday, okay? Fabulous guys, have a lovely day tomorrow, we'll see you on Wednesday.